Ms. Ayarga to make a presentation. Are we? Well, why don't I, Professor Scooby? I mean, I'm asking, this is a very unfair question because <laughs> I was explaining our top task to you only yesterday. But from the little that you know about it, what do you think about it? Sorry about About a top task in Ghana, the proposal to tax airtime in Ghana. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is, this is, uh, I mean, this is, again, this is, of course, a, a, a complicated. Go on. Complicated, uh, complicated issue because I mean there's there's a lot of uh, different interests involved here. I mean there's of course the state budgets uh, 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 thing, and uh, to my mind, I think it's uh, I was sad. I would say to my mind, I think it's a bad idea, and the reason I think it's a bad idea is that uh, I think that taxation should be used, I mean, that's, there are two ways of actually doing taxation. And, and uh, one is you, you like to raise money or you like to discourage a certain behavior. I mean, that's why most countries tax alcohol, tax uh, tobacco, because uh, the public uh, opinion thinks that it's bad for you and as many people cannot really uh, see that, uh, then we have to help them and make these uh, cars more expensive. Then of course, there's of course the issue of uh, taxing uh, for getting state uh, budget revenue. And there again, uh, I think that that uh, the most obvious thing and what you do in most countries is that you tax, you tax the income, people's income, you tax the general, uh, the general use of the market in as uh, VAT. But if you're going into to, to tax specific things because they are very popular, I think again it's because you, you would like to discourage the use of these uh, specific services. And as I have strongly argued here, I think that mobile communication is an essential basis of the future society, not least in Africa. It's, I think <coughs> it's globally but it's very important in Africa and in developing countries for a lot of reasons. Uh, I mean, you all know that lack of physical infrastructure. And as the technology develops, you can deliver almost anything, and in a few years, you can deliver in virtually anything mobile. mobile, mobile. So, so, so for, this, for this reason, I mean, they generally. There could be specific reasons, I don't, I, I, I am not aware of here in the specific Ghanaian situation, but I would say that, that out of general considerations like this, I think it's a bad idea to tax an activity which is seen and recognized as future-oriented, essential for the development of society. So unless there's a very, very good reason for liking to, to restrain momentarily the development of mobile communication in Ghana, I think it, it's 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 uh, not a bad idea. Well, well said. I, I like to respond to that. Um, uh, we pay. Uh, I think it's called a pro rata tax on petroleum, where for every gallon of petrol we buy. 40 or 50% of it is taxed. In Europe, it's worse. That I don't know worse. if it's because the governments in Europe want to discourage okay. you from using your vehicle, or whether your purchasing of petroleum to do whatever you're doing is seen by the government as something they need to discourage you from. Um, I think what we all acknowledge is it's a good with Inelastic demand, I believe it is. So that no matter how much the price goes up, there's a certain amount of use that cannot be avoided. In our context, I think the mobile is one of those services <coughs> with inelastic demand. Too, we know how to measure it. Unfortunately, people like you have done good enough work for the government to know exactly how much is being consumed and also to know that we can't avoid 
consuming this much mobile service. And so it was that there were low hanging fruits. Low hanging fruits there. I would rather the government take rather than come and raise uh, the fuel tax or come and try and collect income tax from it. So this is a personal opinion. Uh, no, no, no. You are yeah. a chapman house rule. So yeah. Otherwise, you are off to your extent capacity. Yeah, I'd like to establish that great idea, wrong name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Government needs the revenue, we all acknowledge. And we should get some revenue for technological development like this. Call it any other time. We have the tourism levy in South Africa and other countries. You know, call it the technology levy. We've had even uh, the search charges on the banks. But why talk that? Because <laughs> it is totally <laughs> inimical to the ordinary yeah. person. Can I just jump in here? Yeah. Uh, the official name uh -huh. is not talked. How tax has been co concocted as far as I know by the okay. okay. journalistic uh, fraternity? Mm -hmm. But the real name, initial, mm -hmm. was specific excise on airtime. Mm -hmm. okay. But now the idea is to call it now, I think the formulation now mm -hmm. has assumed the name Communication Services Tax. And then, services. yes, it makes, so, makes a lot yes. of sense. You see, there were a lot of misunderstandings mm -hmm. uh, resulting from the way the policy was announced. Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of work did not go into the analysis of the policy before it was announced. Uh, so that give, uh, opened the, uh, the gates for various interpretation to, to come even from policy makers themselves. Because each picked the matter from different angles and therefore the public was fed with so much information which did not reflect the true situation. But what we are now uh, getting at at Minister of Finance after consulting with the players, uh, we are converging on the idea that it's no longer good to be called excise tax. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's not a sin tax. Mm -hmm. You know, the moment you make an excise tax, then you're talking about a sin tax. It's not supposed to be a sin tax, it's not supposed to discourage. It's rather to give money, a little, the government a little bite of the user charges that the communication players are making. So it's going to be a split burden on both the consumer and the service providers. It's not, it's not going to be loaded on the consumer completely. So that's where we are getting at. I, I absolutely appreciate that government has to get revenue, like I also said. But, but for you, I mean, just this petrol tax, it is actually introduced to, to discourage use of <laughs> That's the whole purpose of it. That the race, the race, I mean, they've always had some tax on it. But it was, it was introduced, the big one was introduced after this so-called energy crisis. So it's introduced out of two reasons. One is the pollution, and the other one